Good morning, boys and girls. All right, so um, since summer is at the end of this week and we do lots of fun things in the summer, like go to the pool, go to the beach, go to parks, we are going to read this book about a little book about safety. A little book about safety. Meet my friend Hugo. He is six years old. Today, he's going swimming with his family. Let's count all the ways Hugo keeps himself safe. Hugo loves the warm sand and the salty sea air. He is so excited and can't wait to dive into the water. The Hippo family meets a friendly goose at the entrance. Welcome to the Happy Herd Community Pool, she says. Name and phone number, please. Hugo tries to answer. My name is Hugo Hippo and my number is 508 555. Um, all the numbers start mi mixing up in his head. Hugo can't remember his phone number. Mama Hippo is there to help. It's 508 555 0873. She gives Hugo a big hug. Maybe we just need to keep practicing. Safety tip number one. It's helpful to know your safe adult's name and phone number. Do you all know at least one of your parents' phone numbers? Hopefully. Hugo goes into the changing room and puts on his favorite blue swim trunks. He's ready to swim. Ta-da! Safety tip number two. The parts of your body covered by your bathing suit are private. I'm heading over to the diving board, Dad, Hugo said. Okay, I'll watch from here, Daddy Hippo replies. Safety tip number three. Make sure you can always see your safe adults and they can always see you. Hugo decides today he's going on the super sky high diving board. He climbs the stairs all the way to the tippy top. But once Hugo gets to the top, he feels scared. He gets shaky and his tummy feels tingly. Uh oh, no way. Too high, he thinks and decides to climb back down. Safety tip number four. It's okay to say no if you are scared or something feels uncomfortable. Pay attention to your uh-oh feeling. Pay attention to your uh-oh feeling inside and take action to keep yourself safe. As Hugo goes down the stairs, he isn't scared anymore. He stops shaking and his tummy feels fine. Smart choice, dude, the toad says to Hugo. You can try again when you're bigger, adds the cricket by his side. Yeah, Hugo replies. He knows he made a safe decision. As Hugo gets ready to jump off the lower diving board, two sneaky monkeys slide down, swing down and tickle him. Safety tip number five. Remember, you are the boss of your own body and it's okay to say stop to anyone, even a bigger kid or grown up. No one should touch you in any way you don't like. Stop that, Hugo says. Keep your hands to yourself. Silly monkeys. The monkeys say sorry and he leave Hugo alone. Hello, are you helping? Hugo takes a... Hugo takes a running start, bounces on the board, and flies into the water with a big splash. Cannonball! There's guy. After a short swim, Hugo sees an ostrich next to the pool selling ice cream. Slug pops, bubsicles, frog tongue slurpees, calls the ostrich. Could you do me a favor and go get me more bubsicles from my truck, the ostrich says to Hugo. I'll give you a slug pop if you, if you do. It will be our little secret. 
Hugo thinks about what the ostrich asked him to do. Even though Hugo loves slug pops, is it safe to go to the parking lot by himself? No, says Hugo. I have to go check on with my parents first. Safety tip number six. Grown-ups you don't really know shouldn't ask you for help, and they shouldn't ask you to keep secrets either. Safety tip number seven. Thumbs up, Hugo. If anyone, even someone you already know, asks you to go anywhere or do anything unexpected, check with a safe adult first. Hugo tries to find his family, but he doesn't see them anywhere. He feels scared. Where are they? Mama! Safety tip number eight. If you ever get lost, just stop right where you are and yell for your safe adult. Hugo sees a little mouse mama having lunch with her tiny mouse babies. Maybe she can help Hugo find her fam his family. Excuse me, ma'am, he asks. Can you help me find my parents? Why, of course, Sunny, the mama mouse replies, taking out her tiny phone. Do you know their phone number? Safety tip number nine. If yelling doesn't work, you can also ask a mom with kids for help. Hugo freezes. Can he do it? Will he remember? Hugo concentrates really hard. 508, 555, this is the part he always forgets, but not this time. 0873, Hugo smiles from ear to ear. He finally remembered Mama Hippo's phone number. Hello, Mama answers. Hugo turns his head and sees that she is right behind him. Mama, he says, and runs into her arms. Mama hugs her little hippo tightly. I'm so proud of you, she says. Hugo hugs her back. I love you, Mama, he replies. Hugo spends the rest of the day playing by the water with his family, confident that all his smart choices will help keep him strong, happy, and safe. Safety tip number 10. When we make smart choices, we can all live happy, healthy lives together. All right, I hope you guys all have a fun day and I can't wait to see you Friday at graduation.